air down or not to air down. Join us as we try and find every offshoot possible to avoid these county roads in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Today we're heading to the Two-Hearted River and Chris Point. And as you can tell, airing down is just not a habit I've picked up yet. Now most know that airing down is for traction. Better footprint on the sand, mud, rocks. But a lot of us forget about the comfort of airing down. And comfort was needed on these roads. And we needed some little more traction, at least I did, for some of these uh, trails that had more sand than I was expecting. River that dumps out into Lake Superior. Pretty cool. Been trailing most of the day. We are heading to Chris Point. We're kind of going backwards on the Uper Adventure Trail, but there's nothing wrong with that. See you in a minute. The Two Hearted River is a popular destination for recreational fishing. It was the title of a famous short story by Ernest Hemingway called The Big Two-Hearted River. However, the geography of the story indicates that Hemingway was really describing a different trout stream, the Fox River.
Probably can't hear me with the wind, but we are at Chris Point Lighthouse. And again. There's crazy people up there. We're in a lighthouse. Kind of cool. There's a shipwreck out there somewhere. Let's throw the drone up, see if I can find it. The Crisp Point Lighthouse was constructed in 1903 and became operational in 1904 and was decommissioned in 1993. Originally, this site contained a life saving station and quarters. Today, the lighthouse stands with its newly built service building and newly built visitor center that replicates the Foghorn Building. January of 1998, the Chris Point Lighthouse Historical Society had stone placed in front of the lighthouse tower to protect it from Lake Superior. I've learned a lot from this trip besides we need to air down more often. I've learned that visiting the UP for the past four years, there's always been something new, exciting, and sometimes disappointing. Minimal planning was done this time. Yes, there was some I want to do this checked off the list, but other than food, base camp locations, and direction, that was it. We had a pile of potential locations, but this go around, I was in the mindset of if we make it, we make it. And if we don't, it's not going to ruin the entire trip. It's a vacation, an adventure. And what it's not is working, which kind of goes hand in hand with planning. With a plan, you have to get up, do this, go here, do that, and end here. Hmm, tell me that doesn't sound like a job. And isn't that the reason why we vacation? To get away from the job? Planning to me leads to expectations. And we all have different expectations in our minds. Ditch the planning and have fun. And that's what we did. And I thank you for joining us. And those of you that watched all four parts of this adventure. My name is Shannon, and this is Warthog Overland.